We found out that uh, we were pregnant and um, went in to find out what we were having. In the fall of 2003, Kevin and Melissa Buckles learned during a routine doctor's appointment that the child Melissa was carrying was actually children. Huge shock. Twin girls, and there was more. In that same moment, we also found out that they were gonna be conjoined. I was admitted to the hospital two days before Christmas, <laughs> and the girls were born February 26, 2004. Four months later, Erin and Jade Buckles were born joined at the chest with Erin's heart 60% in her sister's body, were surgically separated following a six-hour procedure at the National Children's Medical Center in Washington. You're happy with your pressure? The surgery went well, but not perfectly. Erin uh, had a stroke and to T3 to T7 on her spinal cord, and uh, she's paralyzed from the mid chest down. Okay, Erin, can you roll over? Let me see you. As devastating as Erin's paralysis was to Kevin and Melissa, unfortunately, it was only the beginning of the family's medical troubles. About a year after the separation surgery, doctors found a tumor on the spinal cord of the Buckles' oldest child, three year old Taylor tumor that the buckles were told could eventually lead to Taylor being paralyzed. Her lower right leg, she has no feeling there, and uh, her foot is kind of deformed. And so began this incredible family's incredible journey, filled with love and faith, fear and pain, hope and determination. A journey that continues to this day. Every day is a new adventure. And a journey that once again will lead to an operating room. Woo, good shot. Tomorrow, four-year-old Aaron who has yet to regain the use of her legs, will have surgery to address some of the other issues resulting from the separation. They have to shave down some of the bone growth that has been starting to grow lately, and um, they are also going to take out a Gore-Tex patch that's in her abdomen. For the Buckles family, it will be their fourth major surgery since Aaron and Jade were separated. Taylor has had two, Jade one, and now Aaron. Do you think she'd want cucumbers at the hospital? That might be a good snack, wouldn't it? It's obviously a difficult day for the entire family. My bad. <coughs> it hurts bad. As we gear up here for Erin's surgery, you know, she's a little more um, hesitant about things and she's a little more clingy to us. Still, they try to stick to their normal routine. So late in the afternoon, it's time for Erin's high-tech physical therapy. These are the electrodes that we place on her quadriceps, her hamstrings, and her glute muscles. You ready to ride? This is a functional electrical stimulation bike. It sends electrical impulses to the muscles in her legs in the correct order for her to pedal the bike. While Jade and Taylor dance with Dad. Whoa, good spin. But in the back of everyone's mind today is the thought that in less than 24 hours, Aaron will be in surgery. Our concerns are since Aaron did have a stroke during her last surgery, uh, that's a concern for us. You know, if she has another stroke, you know, you know, how severe would that one be? I've been pretty nervous about it, but, you know, we'll get through it. For Melissa, it's a little difficult handing one of our children off again, you know, for the fourth time for another major surgery. It doesn't get any easier no matter how many surgeries you've been through. And there's always the thought in the back of our minds that we may not get them back um, in the same capacity that we turn them over in.